how I made $400 in one day using margin investing. That's right, in this video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about how I made $400 in one day using margin investing in the stock market. Now, don't get me wrong, margin investing is very interesting and there's a lot of people that are scared, myself included, a little bit, but I am slowly learning little by little and dabbling little by little with margin investing and I'm finding some success, so I wanna share that with you guys in this particular video. Listen, if you're new to the channel, my name is Dwayne with My Investment Journey. On this channel, I talk about how to start investing in the stock market and I show you my investment journey. So be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Okay, so I have a pretty decent account with Robinhood, a pretty decent sized portfolio, and of course I have been dabbling here and there with margin investing. So on July 6th, there was an announcement by the feds that they're going to probably raise interest rates later on in July, and so uh, the market does what the market does. They react and the market, the, you know, the stocks went down, and so knowing this and kind of studying a little bit here and there the stock market since properly since two th uh, since 2020 may of 2020 um i knew okay yeah it, it it went down and of course it's going to recover so what i decided to do was i have margin investing with robin hood enabled and i went ahead and grabbed some more positions that i already have with a certain company in this video i'm going to be talking about devon energy uh, initially i decided to use margin investing to get a position with devon energy because the dividend payment is currently higher than what it cost me to use margin investing on robin hood which at the making of this video is 7.75 percent now if the feds rate raise the rates like they are probably going to do later on in this month of july then it's going to go from 7.75 to a little higher okay so of course i'll let you guys know that as i'm still using margin investing but margin investing is something that's quite interesting and of course if you leverage it the right way uh and leverage is about you know doing something that's going to benefit you or something that gives you access or gives you uh, uh advancement or benefit right uh and so if you use margin investing correctly it will be something that you can use that will be a great tool and it will help you tremendously. So I'm really kind of in the beginning stages. Um, I've done a lot of dabbling here and there with margin investing. And of course, when we get the little wins in life, we don't really celebrate those because they're so small, right? But being able to make $400 in one day using margin investing in the stock market is a huge win. Now, of course, it would be better if it was $4,000. Of course, it would be better if it was $40,000. You get the point. We probably won't ever be satisfied. You know what I mean? But in this video, I want to show you guys how, once again, I was able to use margin investing one day in the stock market and kind of, you know, get a profit. So I'm going to show you guys that right now you're looking at my portfolio. It's currently July the 8th. You can see that at the top right of the screen, or you can see it at the bottom of the screen. It's July the 8th. And so the market's closed. And so my portfolio is valued right now, $279,000. Overall, if I click on all here, I have invested in the stock market, 260000 uh, just call it $260,000. Okay. So overall I'm up right now, which is always really, really good. Of course I haven't always been. Okay. So this is where my portfolio sits right now for the buying power. You see, it says $86,000. That's margin investing. That's not actually my money. That's money that I have available because I have margin investing enabled on Robinhood. So I'm going to jump to Devon Energy here where you guys can see that my average cost per share is currently $47.29. So a couple of things occurred, right? So I had a position with Devon Energy initially. Uh, and once again, I decided to invest in them because the dividend payment percentage wise is higher than what it currently costs to use margin investing on Robinhood. So currently you can see uh, my total return is I'm up 3.45%, which is currently $326, but I just got this position with Devon Energy, and I'll show you guys my history here. So I'll click on show more just to show you guys and keep it transparent. You can see on June 20th, I purchased 200 shares, and at the time, it was for $48.23. And then, of course, right above that on June the 21st, you can see that I sold the same 200 shares, and at that time, it was for $49.25. So I made a little over $200 right here. And then on June the 22nd, you could see that I purchased some more shares. And at that time, it was $46.68, right? So I got my 200 shares there. And then, of course, uh, the feds made the announcement on July the 6th. 
and the market went down a little bit and so you can see I grabbed some more shares here 200 more shares at forty six dollars and ninety cents which brought my average cost down a little bit so initially my average cost here is forty seven dollars and sixty eight cents then I grabbed another 200 shares at forty six dollars and ninety cents which brought my average cost down a little bit and so from july the 6th just to show you guys timestamps here i did this order at 10 12 a.m central time and then on july the 7th i sold those same 200 shares and it was 11 54 a.m central time okay so you can see here i i bought at nine thousand three hundred seventy nine dollars okay the same 200 shares and i basically sold two dollars when it when it was two dollars higher at forty eight dollars and ninety two cents so quick math of course two hundred shares times two dollars is four hundred dollars but just to be more specific because i did use margin investing i'll do some math here and show you guys um, so i borrowed from robin hood uh 900 okay so let's do initially i did uh let's do the profit so nine nine hundred uh, nine thousand seventy nine thousand eighty four point oh six minus ninety three seventy nine which is what I borrowed from Robin Hood gives you four hundred and five dollars and six cents okay so supposedly that's profit but with margin investing you're borrowing so I have to pay seven point seven five percent in order to borrow the initial nine thousand three hundred and seventy nine okay I need that back give me one second here I need the calculator back so let's do nine thousand three seventy nine and we're gonna multiply that times point zero seven seven five which is a seven point seven five percent this is what I would be paying for the entire year if I was to borrow the nine thousand three seventy nine we're gonna divide that by twelve and then we're going to get what we would pay monthly, which would be $60.57. And since the month of July has 31 days, we're going to divide that by 31. Okay. And so you get nine, you get $1.95 a day that I would pay to borrow the $9,379. Now we're going to say it took me two days, right? Because I made the initial sale at 10 o'clock in the morning and I sold the next day at 11 o'clock I don't know exactly what the cutoff is for the margin investing right so if it's 24 hours that would be 10 o'clock one day and 10 o'clock the next day that's 24 hours so since I did it at 10 and then almost 12 the next day we're gonna say it cost two days and we're just gonna round it up we're gonna say that it cost me two dollars for each day so let's say it cost two days so my profit was four hundred five dollars and six cents so if I do four hundred five dollars and six cents minus four dollars because we're doing two dollars a day for borrowing I made four hundred one dollars now of course we're not talking about tax and all that good stuff but let's just say I made a flat four hundred dollars for one day using margin investing on Robinhood and I got a two for one right remember initially my first purchase was way here in June uh, for forty eight dollars and twenty three cents then I sold at forty nine dollars and twenty five cents then I got some more shares at forty seven dollars sixty eight cents right and then I uh, bought some more when it went down so I, I brought my average cost down from forty seven dollars and sixty eight cents to where it is now which I think it's like forty seven and change let's see let's show you guys right now it's forty seven and twenty nine cents which is really really cool so a couple of cool things happened right so the feds made their announcement I grabbed shares at forty six dollars and let's see how much it was before I say the wrong thing I grabbed shares at forty six dollars and ninety cents now at that time my average cost was forty seven dollars and sixty eight cents right so me purchasing another two hundred shares at forty six ninety brought my average cost down from forty seven dollars and sixty something cents to forty seven dollars and twenty nine cents so a couple of things happen and I'm very very fortunate right like I was able to bring my average cost down a little bit I was able to use margin investing make a little small profit and sell that position well not the entire position but basically sell what I initially bought which was 200 shares okay it is really really incredible there are so many different ways to make money in the stock market and a lot of it has to do with knowledge and of course I have the small amount of knowledge that I have in regards to the stock market right 
right? I'm, I'm buying low and selling high. Of course, people make money when the market goes down as well. Of course, there are options that I don't know nothing about. I don't do call and puts. I don't do any of that stuff. But there are so many different ways to make money in the stock market. And the more you pay attention, the more you invest your money, hopefully in solid companies, right? That's the thing. You have to invest your money in solid companies so that you're not freaking out like the company's going to file bankruptcy tomorrow. When the company is very, very solid, let's say like it's an Apple, right? Let's say Apple. Apple's probably not going to file bankruptcy in my lifetime. I'm 45, so I don't see Apple filing bankruptcy in my lifetime, right? So you purchase shares with Apple, and if the shares go down a lot of money, that's a great opportunity to grab more shares and bring your average costs down even further. And if you have margin investing, and you could leverage that, not that I'm telling you guys to go out there and get margin investing, right? Because of course you can run into trouble, right? There is the dark side of taking risks, right? So same thing with the stock market. Like when you see your portfolio go down and that's your money, you freak out and you want to sell, right? So the same could be true with margin investing. Like I used it for good in this particular scenario. I was very fortunate and it's pretty straightforward. Like if the market goes down, like on that particular day, my portfolio, I'll show you guys here on the screen, my portfolio was down $11,000. All right. So like, well, it's not showing because it's it's anyway. But it, so it's down, according to this, almost eight thousand dollars. But it was eleven thousand dollars on the actual day. Um, I know that like it's not going to continuously go down. It's going to rebound a little bit. So the more you watch and pay attention and, and not necessarily to the entire market, you could just watch with one company, the more you start to get an understanding of how the market works, right? So anyway, that's gonna be pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to make this video and show you guys how I made $400 using margin investing in the stock market. All right, if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up. It helps the channel tremendously. Once again, my name is Dwayne with My Investment Journey, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, take care and be blessed. Peace.